Welcome back folks, it is Jafer and today we're going to take a look at yet again another eSports Tiger mouse pad. This one's a little bit different though, arguably their most durable option to date, as well as it going to be a control mouse pad. It is their eSports Tiger Uba. And before I get into that, I do want to state and give a shout out to Ready Player Lift. It is a podcast focused around lifting weight as well as gaming and really how to mesh the two lifestyles together for healthy options to keep us busy during this crazy pandemic. They touch on weightlifting as well as gaming and retro gaming. Uh, really awesome guy. I know him personally. He didn't ask for this shout out. I really wanted to share this podcast with you as they're really quick. They go between 10 minutes to a half an hour or so. Nothing overly lengthy, and I strongly recommend you guys check out that podcast wherever you find your podcast. Without further ado, let's get into it. The ABA comes in at 480 by 400 with a thickness of 4 millimeters. Currently, this is the only size offered, but as with all Esports Tiger videos, please give us desk mat sizes as well as an option. With a price tag of $34.99, I believe it's a fair price for what we're about to get into, that being a premium control pad. The Extra 5 GP4 and GameSense Radar have really been some of my favorite recent control pads and those that I offer to anyone looking for a good control pad, and I believe we're adding a third one to that list today. But the first noticeable thing you're going to see, as with all eSports Tiger products, is its design. They base every pad on a Chinese lore or mythology, and it's no different here as it's beautiful and it features Yazi, a wolf dragon hybrid that it comes in a light and dark turquoise tone with beautiful copper accents. And it's really weird to describe a mouse pad into such detail, but I have to give the artists over at Esports Tiger props for coming up with continued beautiful artwork. The base is going to be your usual natural rubber, and it rolls out flat almost immediately upon arrival. There is no movement on my desk with that anti-slip surface, which is great to see. The top surface is where things get really interesting, as Esports Tiger calls this a cross-diagonal weaving surface. And it feels really rough to the touch, almost like an MP510 by Cooler Master. So it's abrasive and noticeable. Uh, and they do use a mesh weaving to create that resistance for control. It works well as I had no issues with the static friction and my swipes were clean with minimal dynamic friction. The X and Y were uniform throughout. I didn't notice any slow spots over time or anything that became muddy. The glide provides the impact of control, but it really feels like speed through the mouse as you don't feel the abrasive surface through the connection of the mouse. It wasn't scratchy or muddy and overall a really great feeling pad. And with the sleeve on, it really felt like I was using an MP510. I had to remind myself constantly that this wasn't the case. Ranking against other pads, I would definitely put this up there as being a must have for control users and those who are arm aimers will be happy to know that the stitching along the edges is nice and premium. It doesn't protrude beyond the surface and become a burden to your arm in any fashion. Now with the surface being cloth, it will be impacted by humidity. So keep that in mind depending on if you do have a lot of humidity in your area. It's faster than the GSR SE, but it does seem to have a little bit less stopping power. It's by far faster than your QCK and definitely more plush with that four millimeters. So it allows me to dig the mouse in or use my thumb to dig into that surface to add more stopping power if I choose to. This definitely makes the radar seem like a faster pad at first glance, but both really compete really well with one another. And the radar just falls a little bit short on stopping power once I've gotten used to using this ABBA. The Decanic Control, which is a mouse pad that you can't really purchase anywhere anymore, it kind of became almost like a meme, but also really popular in the subreddit scene. That one uh, really caught a lot of folks' attention because of the pricing on it. Now, of course, Esports Tiger pricing this at $34.99 doesn't really compete in the price standpoint, but it does offer a very similar surface. And I feel that anyone that's looking for a replacement on their Decanic control should look no further. And again, this is much faster than even more off-the-shelf pads out there like the Logitech G640 or the Gigantus. The ABBA trumps all of these pads that I've mentioned because of that durable weaving. I didn't notice that I needed to dial anything back or make a ton of adjustments as I'm already used to using a control pad. I will say though that I did have to up the sense a little bit with this 
And in doing so, I definitely felt I was performing a lot better than I normally am, which in most cases is performing like a trash can. In the end though, the ABBA by Esports Tiger is not only a looker, but a performer as well, offering solid durability. If you're in need of a new control pad, put the ABBA on your list. So in the end, the ABBA is a really great pad, even though aesthetically it doesn't fit my color scheme. And I know that really should be the last priority when it comes to any mouse pad. I just really want to see more options like this in a dust mat flavor as well as maybe different color choices but with this same surface because it's really probably going to be dominant on my desktop for a while now and i'll leave a link to the description on where you can purchase yours down below and if you did like the content please throw a like and of course it is always appreciated when you hit that subscription button until next time i am jay stay safe